What's good, everybody? Look at what I have found here. Just out here doing some scanning, as I tell you guys you need to do. But check that out. A nice uh, submerged timber, brush pile, something like that. You can see the fish in there. Fish are hugging the bottom, sitting in about 20 feet of water. And take a look at that side scan. I have some a good image that I'll get to in just a second, guys. But first, let's go ahead and just have a quick discussion about how you can become uh, just more efficient on the water whenever you are out here scanning. So this is something that you guys really need to uh, to listen to and implement into every time that you go out into the lake. How to better use your short keys, which are these buttons right here, and also to be able to make the, the windows that you are not using, you want to hide those and only have the windows visible that you are going to use, which will basically, as I'll show you in just a second, how to make your shortcut keys more useful. So you only have three on these Helix units. So how can you kind of double and triple that amount? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So for the first thing that I'll do is this is my main screen on for my scanning. I'll have my side imaging up top, sonar and down scan. On this unit over here, it's mainly just for mapping. This unit right here is not even on the network right now. Sometimes I have it on the network, sometimes I don't, but right now it is not, so this is mainly just for mapping. So taking a look over here, guys, let's hit the menu button once, hit it one more time, and now go to the views window. So you just scroll across and go over to your views. And what you want to do is go through these settings one by one and anything that you do not use, you want to put that on the hidden screen. So you wanna make those hidden. The only ones that you that you are going to use, you're gonna put those as visible. So what that will do is allow you to kind of scroll through your, your screens a lot faster. So whenever you need to change screens, it helps you go through that faster and allows better use of your shortcut keys. Now let me show you what I'm talking about as far as that goes. All right, so let's exit back out of here and take a look at that, guys. There's another brush pile that we just went across. You can see some, some cover, some structure over here on the side. Trying not to get sidetracked, guys. Let's stick straight to it. So now you see there's a bait ball, guys. Out here when you're scanning, you want to be able to switch back and forth between these screens and let me show you what I mean. So now I've seen that right there. Let's go ahead and just take it straight to the sonar and the down scan so I can kind of hone in on what I'm seeing. Check that out. There's a nice... Um, brush pile right there guys right around those bait fish that's the way those bait fish are set up sometimes it looks a little odd but they're relating to something down there so now I know I have my main screen on this first shortcut key let's go ahead and just stop the boat for a second have my main screen on this first shortcut key the second screen that I use is going to be my sonar and my down imaging that is on the second shortcut key over here and the third one I put that on my mapping just in case I need to use the mapping uh, for the waypoints because I will have waypoints on this one since it's on the network and whenever I mark things I'm marking those and setting up waypoints on this unit over here all right so let's exit back out of here and go back to this main screen okay so now whenever I hit the exit key it will scroll through the additional windows so say for example I'm on my main screen I see something and I want to go directly to a full screen of my side imaging. I just hit this exit key twice and I know even though I'm here on my first screen, I hit this twice, one, two, I'm now on full side imaging and I have that memorized. I know that. So if I have gone across something and I miss it on my first pass, now when I come back around again, I can go ahead and hit that with my side imaging. All right. So the other thing, of course, you guys know that if you hit your view button, then it will scroll back in the opposite direction that you just came from. But the thing, the main thing to remember, guys, is that you're only going to see the screens that you want to use for this unit. This is my main scanning unit right now. It's a Helix 10. Um, this is a G3N side imaging unit. So that is my main scanning unit right now. So that's the things that you want to make sure, guys. Just a quick recap. Hit your menu button twice, go into your views, only make the visible items the ones that you are actually going to be using. Hit the exit out of here and now go to your main screen that you're going to be using and just hit your exit key and just memorize the ones like how many times you have to hit that button to get to the screens that you want to use. Alright guys, 
hope that has helped you out. Just wanted to give a quick tip out here on how to use those shortcut keys and be more efficient whenever you are out here on the lake. All right, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. Definitely hit the like button on the way out. It really does help the channel out. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video.